Yo guys, if you're looking to pick up some Mad Mobile coins for the new Thanksgiving promo that just dropped today, make sure you head over to MMOTank.com. They're selling for literally like 70 cents per mil, and they're also giving away free coins for every purchase made. They have instant delivery, and you can also use my code DUCK at checkout for 10% off of your entire order. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Duck of the Gamer back again with another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to come to you guys with a tutorial on this weekend's tournament. Now you guys can easily beast it, get top 1% if you guys want to, and the easiest place to at least get 15 wins so you guys cannot waste your tickets and, you know, get the best rewards and the tournament trophies is what I'm going to be getting, especially making a video Monday, of course, of the rewards and all that good stuff. So this weekend's tournament is a bit different. We've never had it before, but it is definitely a fun one. So as you can see, I already have, I think it is, 8 wins, and that's because I've been testing out stuff so much. I think I've already spent like 20 tickets or more on this tournament just because I want to give you guys the best, like, tutorial, the best play-by-play -play guide for you guys. So I have lost a few, but I have found a pretty good method and how you guys can be successful in this weekend's tournament. So um, the rules for this weekend's tournament is you get 4 drives from your opponent's 5-yard line. You're on the 4th down, so you basically have 1 play to get 5 yards and score a touchdown. It doesn't sound hard at first. But all the good plays seem to be countered. So the two plays I'm going to show you guys today are super unknown. It, I've only found one person who's countered um, the very hidden play one time. And I only know one of these plays because of Manuel Slay. I saw his Instagram video earlier on this morning and I got the idea to make this video. And I also threw in a play of my own that's been working wonders for me. So I will be linking Slay's um, Instagram, his Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff for Manuel Slay in the description. Because I am using one of his plays that he showed in his Instagram video in a tutorial on how to actually run it. So... Um, the plays that I'm about to show you are basic plays. Um, one is really unknown and one is super overused or used to be, but you guys probably aren't even good to expect. But I guarantee you guys don't even know what play I'm about to show you. So the first play that I'm going to recommend for you guys is Hail Mary. Like, what? Hail Mary? It's the weirdest play, but it seems to be really, really effective in this weekend's tournament. I only am using this because someone scored 30 points against me using Hail Mary, so I thought I'd try it out on my own. And the reason it works is... Is because no one counters it this play used to be really overpowered it got kind of dulled down but this is a five yard uh rushing tournament or rushing or five yard play you only need five yards so why would someone counter hill mary if you need five yards so that works for it super well no one has it countered and just watch what happens when i or snap the ball so we snap the ball back up and look at this antonio gates wide open he almost stepped out of bounds and i probably should have just thrown the ball to him if you uh bullet pass the ball he, they're like for some reason he has a really bad uh he has a really bad habit of just running out of bounds so if you do end up throwing the ball to a wide open receiver or tight end keep in mind that uh some of the times they might run out of bounds so if he's super wide open like that go ahead and lob the ball to him or just tap his uh his little button don't bullet pass like i just did there because he almost ran out of bounds so of course the running play you do flipped strong i hat back toss everyone knows this play it is the most open play it is countered like 40 or 50 percent of the time um on most people's game plans but it still works wonders even if it does get countered it works most of the time so eight points are there this guy also got eight points so this might be a tough matchup so we'll try to um hail mary one more time accidentally flipped it it doesn't matter though so i'm gonna really focus back up look for an open pass walker no one was really open there i could have thrown it it might have probably got intercepted so um because hail mary isn't really working or didn't work too good on that one i'm gonna try and show you guys the second play now the second play is something and completely random it is empty trips shallow cross this play right here that i'm highlighting this is the play so it's a very odd play it's a very different play you don't actually pass the ball i'll show you real quick what you guys do so um just watch what i do and i'll explain it in the fourth drive of what i do so i south the ball and then instantly go into the scramble mode and boom touchdown so that play it's really on how it works it basically acts as a running play because there's only three or four people or three or four linebackers that actually stay and try to, to defend you or try to tackle you and if your o-line is decent they should be able to hold the linebackers and the middle linebackers so your quarterback can scramble go right through the middle and get a pretty easy touchdown so once again strong eye halfback toss easy pt just flip it bada bing but boom error in there so the reason that play is also really good is because no one uh, uh counters it the only reason someone would counter this play is if they know about slade's video or they know about this tutorial so i'm gonna click next drive i'm gonna do the exact same thing short pass we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom it doesn't matter flipped or non-flipped it still works the same so how this works is as soon as you snap the ball a gap should open on the left side of your screen now if this gap does open you're gonna want to instantly click the scramble button and try to run into the end zone more likely than not you will have a pretty open path and it should be pretty easy to get the touchdown but if you guys don't have an open path and the gap is not there you can always try to run out of bounds but i would say i'm on 
75 to 80 percent of the time this play does have a pretty uh, wide open gap and it does work so i'll try it again snap the ball the gap does open right there a little bit sketchy i actually bumped into him um, i'm really focusing on commentating this right now so if my gameplay is not up to par i apologize but still 22 points out of the 24 this guy is still probably going to beat me because he's going to end up scoring around 30 points on me which is pretty rare rarely do people actually score 30 points on you or more than 30 points more likely than not people average around 16 to 20 points so if you guys can end up getting um 24 points guaranteed every single time you're going to be winning a lot of games this is not a win every single time this is showing you guys the best plays that work most of the time if not you know 70 80 90 percent of the time for me so i did end up scoring three out of four touchdowns which is a pretty good rate so i'll do one more drive see what's going to go on um because i have been pretty successful with this little method on my phone i've already recorded this video believe it or not four different times but every time i record it i end up you know losing a drive or just not performing as well because i'm on the computer so i am on my phone and i would definitely recommend you guys if you do play on the computer play on your phone for this one you need a lot of control for these plays to make sure you're really accurate so once again hail mary um it doesn't look as if it's countered so that's good oh uh, jj watt okay well doesn't matter we can't even get up the ball in time so that's another uh, problem with the hail mary if your o-line isn't that strong or you just keep on getting uh beat uh, on the ball and your quarterback keeps on getting sacked then go ahead and just switch over to this play because it works i'd say nice 70 of the time like i said easy right there wide open gap we bumped into a few players so that's fine we still ended up uh, being pretty successful on that run so once again flip this is this play i don't even have to i don't even have to tell you guys what two point conversion play i'm doing because you already know uh flipped i a strong halfback toss whatever it is this halfback toss flip it and it's an almost always guaranteed touchdown eight points not looking too good but we will go back to the short pass once again this one is flipped it doesn't matter flipped non-flipped it'll all work the same snap the ball go ahead and scramble and then easy peasy touchdown wide open alex smith into the end zone so once again strong a halfback toss like usual boys tap the ball and then just run to the outside squeeze in don't even have the truck don't even have to encounter that defender right there so our last drive that guy only has six points and two drives so it is looking pretty good for a win if we can't secure this last touchdown right here so uh, snap the ball not scramble it then we scramble it um walker make sure to not run into your halfback occasionally your halfback like right there herschel walker almost ran into me if you run into your halfback, you might not score a touchdown because um, your player won't actually move. Your player will just be stuck there. You're going to run into him as an obstacle, and you might bounce back or fumble the ball or do something like that. So if I were you guys, just make sure to watch out for your halfback if that does end up happening. Come on. Yeah, that was a pretty unlucky one. Uh, we got 22 points still. That should get... Yeah, that guy got 6 points. We got 22 points. Like I said, getting 30 points is pretty uncommon to get 30 points scored on you. But if you can average 24 points with this method, you should be winning at least 75-80% of your games. Um, now, that's really it for the tutorial, guys. If you did like this video and you did learn something new from it, go ahead and smack the crap out of that like button because then i can know how many people actually benefited from this video and also if you guys happen to be new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button um i will be uploading a ton of thanksgiving promo content videos but today this uh this is a pretty sick method it's a pretty good method so i thought i showed you guys on saturday um so you can use a full advantage saturday and sunday for the tournament but other than that it has been what like the gamer thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one peace